Hello, today we are going to talk about the geometric mean theorem, also known as the right triangle altitude theorem. Here you can see on the screen a right angle triangle ABC, where A is the 90 degree angle. If we draw a semicircle which is centered on the midpoint of the hypotenuse BC, which is the diameter, this semicircle passes through point A. This is based on the inscribed angle theorem. If we draw the perpendicular height x, it divides the hypotenuse into two segments, c and b. And the theorem states that x squared is equal to b times c. In other words, the geometric mean of b and c is x. Now we are going to demonstrate that this theorem works because the three triangles that we create when we draw the perpendicular height are proportional to each other. In other words, they have the same angles. Now we are going to show that the three triangles are proportional to each other. So here you see the original triangle ABC, where A is the 90 degree angle. As we know, all the angles of any triangle must add up to 180 degrees. So using this rationale, if A is 90 degrees, then angle B and angle C must add up to 90 degrees also. So we will call one angle, what we call angle B alpha, and angle C must be 90 degrees minus alpha, as can be seen here on the screen. Okay, so now we are going to demonstrate that the two new triangles that we created when we drew the perpendicular height are proportional to the original triangle. Firstly, we are going to look at the larger of the two new triangles. And as we have already demonstrated that angle C is 90 degrees, alpha and we've created a new 90 degree angle. So the remaining angle A must be equal to alpha. And finally, in the third smaller triangle, as we have already demonstrated that angle B is alpha, we've created a new angle, a new 90 degree angle. So the remaining angle A must be equal to 90 degrees minus alpha. So now to demonstrate even more clearly that the two smaller triangles are proportional, we are going to rotate the smaller orange triangle to the right. And here you can see clearly that the three angles match exactly. As you can see here, very clearly, the blue and the orange triangles are proportional to each other. So according to Taylor's theorem, if the angles are the same, then the sides must be proportional. In other words, A divided by D is equal to B divided by X is equal to X divided by C. And from this relationship, we can extrapolate that X squared is equal to B times C by cross multiplying the last two fractions. So here we have demonstrated how the geometric mean formula comes about. And you can see here, if we simplify the equation by solving for x, we can see that x is equal to the square root of b times c. And this formula is also very useful and used a lot in, ge in geometry in general. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.